Hi guys, this is Rice Snow. From this video, we start implementing player's item inventory so you can pick up items and manage them. So inventory is a little bit tricky one. So I take time and explain every single step. So I hope you'll come along and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Okay, let's start. First, let's create a sub window and I'm gonna display it in this character screen that we created recently. I'm gonna display the inventory window around here. So, open this UI class and uh, when we switch to this character state, we call another method draw inventory and uh, we create this method. Uh, maybe after this draw character screen. So public void draw inventory. We create another sub window. So again we set frame x and frame y frame width frame height and okay so we're gonna display the window somewhere around here so x will be tile size times 9 or something and y is the same as the window on the left so gp that tile size and width is uh, six tiles and height is like five tiles okay and call this draw sub window method and pass the parameters okay let's check yep like this and we will display player's items on this window. In this game, I set the inventory size 20, so player can carry 20 items at a time. And I'm gonna create 5 item slots horizontally and 4 item slots vertically. So this is frame slot. So first we set uh, X and Y of the first slot which will be the top left corner so final int slot x start so from the top left corner of this frame we add a little a little bit so like 20 final int slot y start frame y plus 20. So these are final, so the values don't change. And then we create another slot x and y. Okay, so default value is slot x start and uh, slot y start. And these are not final, so the values can be changed. So we're gonna use them a bit later. Okay, and the next thing we do is drawing a castle. So we can move it and select an item. And okay, for this, first we create variables. Uh, public int slot call, zero. Public int slot law. Zero. So this indicates the castle's current position on this window. And then uh, int castle x and int castle y and int castle with int castle height. And the castle width is tile size. And height is also tile size. 
and the castle x is okay let me type first slot x start plus uh, gp dot tile size times slot call call slot y start plus gp dot tile size times slot low uh, let me explain a little bit so as i said we have five slots horizontally and four slots vertically so okay, okay. this slot call is between zero to four and uh, this slot low is between zero to three so zero one two three so this returns the castles x and y based on their call and row numbers so using this x and y now we can draw the castle uh, draw castle okay first let's choose color any color is fine but i'm gonna choose white then draw draw round rect i'm gonna use this round rect and x is okay castle x castle y and uh, width is not frame width but castle width and castle height and okay we're gonna set the roundness so like 10 okay let's check yep like this so the castle is displayed but i think the line is a bit chic so let me change the thickness of the line g2 dot set stroke new basic stroke and i'm gonna set three yeah i think this looks better so now the castle is displayed and next we edit the key handler so we can change this slot call and slot allow by pressing keys so we can move this castle uh, open this key handler and uh, okay uh, character state character state okay here so we're gonna add a bunch of if statement called key event bkw wasd wasd so when you press w then the, the castle goes up that means we're gonna subtract this slot low by one and a means go left so ui dot slot call minus minus and s means go down so gp dot ui dot slot low plus plus and d means go right so slot call plus plus okay and i want to play a sound effect when you move the castle so i created this castle sound copy this sound file to this sound package and open this sound class and add this sound to the index 9 castle and okay so whenever we moved the castle we play that sound effect so gp dot play se index 9 yeah like this so let's check yeah 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 okay so now we can move the castle but you know apparently it can go out of the frame 
so we need to set kind of a restriction so the cursor stays inside of the frame so we're gonna add little conditions to these statements if w so if gp.ui.slot low not equal zero then yeah we can move the cursor so basically call and low cannot be negative and also uh, what is this hey so call not equal zero so if it's already zero you cannot go left also slot low cannot be more than three i think zero one two three so gp.ui.slot now is not equal three so if if it's already three then I, we cannot increase this okay so this is horizontally so gp.ui.slot call not equal four So these are the conditions. Let's check. Yeah. Okay, so now the cursor doesn't go out of the frame. And next, let's display player's items on this window. So, okay, let's open the player class. And to do that, first we need to create player's inventory. Public, we use this array list uh, as entity. Inventory, call new array list. Also, public final int inventory size equal 20 okay then so we can let him have some items and uh, we can do it in this set to default values but i think i'm gonna do it in a separated method so public void like set items or item and here and uh, make sure to call it before I forget set items and okay here inventory dot at current weapon inventory dot at current shield and okay let's add some more items inventory dot add like uh, key gp maybe one more key yeah like this okay and okay so let's go back to this ui class and uh so before drawing this castle, we draw draw players items. Here we're gonna create for loop int i equal zero and i is less than gp dot player dot inventory. You know, make sure not to choose that inventory size because that is a maximum size of this inventory size so okay I think this naming is a bit confusing so uh, okay let me change this max inventory size I don't even know if I I'm gonna use this though anyway uh, okay so now so we're gonna scan this inventory 
array list one by one and uh, draw the image inside. So g2 dot draw image. Whoa. Okay, easy, easy. Uh, gp dot player dot inventory dot get index i uh, dot down one. So which is a default image of this object. And x is slot x and slot y and null. And uh, after drawing this, we're gonna increase this slot x slot x plus e dot tile size. Also, we need to check if we need to go to the next row. When the index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 9, or 14, I think. So that's when we go to the next row. So if index is 4, or index oops, index oopsie index is nine or index is fourteen in that case we reset this slot x to slot x start and uh, slot y plus type size Yeah, like this, I think. Let's check. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So now player's items are displayed. And uh, okay, let's add some more items so we can check other rows to add some more keys. I guess it's working yeah hmm they are uh, displayed correctly but i want to do a little adjustment because there are a little bit more space on the right and uh, on the bottom i think and also this items icon look a little bit crowded so i want to increase the slot size a little bit okay so create uh, another integer Slot size equal p dot tile size like plus three or something. So uh, instead of this tile size, we're gonna use this you know modified slot size okay, here, and uh, also this and this. Yeah, and the castle with castle height, we don't need to change. So let's check. Hmm, okay. So can you see the difference? Yeah, so I think this looks better, like less crowded. So this part is done, and uh, but we still have some space here. So next, we create an item description window so we can see the selected item name and uh, short description. Uh, so first, uh, open this entity class, probably here, item attributes. We're gonna add string uh, description. And put blank text as a default. Okay, so let's add some descriptions. For example, like this sold description equal. Uh, okay, first we display the item name and uh, line break and all sold or something. Okay, uh, let's copy this. Okay, add description to this shield and also key. Okay, so shield is made by wood. And the key is 
it open the door yeah something like this okay so let's display these descriptions okay go back to this ui class and uh okay after drawing castle we're gonna create uh, another sub window so description frame int okay like d frame x int d frame y int d d frame width and d frame height so x is same as this one so equal frame x and y is so here so frame y plus frame height and the frame width is the same i think so frame width same as this one and uh, oh, ah, equal and uh, okay frame height is tile size three tiles and we're gonna call that this method and pass the parameter okay let's check yeah mm, like this and then draw description text draw description text text x and uh, text y so text x is yeah somewhere around here so uh, d frame x yeah plus 20 and y is the frame y plus probably tile size and okay let's set font set font g2.get font dli font something like 28 and okay so before drawing the description text we need to get an item index so item index means the index of this inventory array list so we need to know which one in the array that we're gonna call and uh, information we have now is slot call and slot allow so based on this we find out the item index and i think i'm gonna do this in a separated method because uh, i think we'll do this in other occasions too so uh, public int get item index on slot or something and uh, okay int item index equal slot call plus slot low times five so this returns an item index in the inventory array list so for example if the castle is like here so which means the slot call is four and the slot low is two so four plus uh, ten so it returns to 14 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 yeah so we're gonna return this item index and okay here int item index we get item index on slot so now we can draw the description if item index is 
lesson player dot inventory dot size and basically what we're gonna do is so call this row string and uh, player dot inventory dot get item index dot description so we're gonna call this description and this is not item index but text x yeah basically this is this is it but uh, the problem is we have inserted this line break code and uh, this draw, draw string completely ignore the code so we have to manually split the string and uh, break the line so for that we're gonna create for loop and uh, string line jp dot player dot inventory dot get dot description dot split so we ordered our program to split the line by this character and get it as this line and okay so instead of this we're gonna draw this line and after drawing a line we increase this text y plus it's 28 so maybe like 32 so we can draw a next line hmm okay and uh, all right uh, okay, let me uh, delete these keys okay uh, let's check hmm okay yep hmm. okay so now we can see the name and the description of the selected item next we will implement a function so we can pick up items and also switch players equipment